Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share another fall DIY video of some really cute projects. For this first project, I used the Thankful and Blessed sign. I took the twine hook out from it because I plan on using the back of this pumpkin instead of the front. I found some scrapbook paper that looked fallish and I went not halfway up the pumpkin, just a little bit, and then I traced it out. I was gonna put this on the bottom of my pumpkin. I used Waverly chalk paint plaster color and I painted the pumpkin and I did about two layers of it. Once that dried, I placed the scrapbook paper on the bottom and then I found the welcome sign. It was the Meadow Words pack at the Dollar Tree. I spray painted that as well as the leaf and glued them on and it was a quick and easy beautiful project that I will either have at the store or on my front door. For this project I used a cooling rack and some orange fall mesh along with the thankful metal words in that metal pack and some berry mix floral from Walmart. So I took the pipe cleaner and tied it at the corner of the cooling rack with the mesh and I started to wrap the mesh around folding the mesh in half. I couldn't find the pumpkin wire at the Dollar Tree so I wanted to see what I could do with a cooling rack. Um, I'm hoping to find those soon and yeah so I just wrapped it around and it was a little bit of a square like pumpkin um, but it was still cute so once you wrap it all the way around I used a cardboard piece from the mesh cut it in half and that was gonna be my little stump at the top of the pumpkin and then I found a corn piece at the Dollar Tree also I used this last year on some of my fall wreaths. It was really, really cute. And you just wrap it over and over and over again. And then I attached the little stump with the pipe cleaner. And I glued on the corn and the thankful I used hot glue on this project. This little project was so easy. I just found a bucket, I had a little pumpkin, and I found some eucalyptus from Walmart and put it in and it looked like a little pumpkin growing out of the bucket. <laughs> Cute. So for this project, I was so excited to find these milk jug vases at the Dollar Tree. I grabbed green ones, they were folly, and I used the Waverly chalk paint plaster again, and I did one coat for each of them. I like that the green kind of seeped through a little bit, so I left it like that.
I took the Halloween signs and I ripped the one side of each off and I pulled apart the, the one that was coming apart and I glued them on the bottom so that it'd be a little more sturdy. Once that was dry, then I put in the berry mix from Walmart and then there's this fall pick decor that has pumpkins and acorns in it and I love the polka dots, I love the chalk paint, this project is beautiful. Oh yeah, I don't forget the twine, make a little ribbon, beautiful, ta-da! Thanks again, be sure to subscribe and like, see you next time, bye!